everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a fill in on these nails so of course the first thing that we're doing is just removing the bling so i'm using a pair of nippers to do this as you can see everything stayed on really really good for the most part she was missing like one over at the top but that's pretty much it and i was actually having a hard a time trying to take these off as you can see i switched nippers um but again we're just removing the bling with the nippers and for the bling i used the soleil nail that hit so so obviously you see that it works really good um this set had been on for two weeks and she came back for a feel um so again after we finish doing this we're gonna go in and remove all of the gel polish Alrighty, so now we're going to go in with the extra core safety drill bit to remove the gel polish and I'm using it at like 12,000 RPMs and then sometimes if I need to speed it up, I will. So I always use it like between 12 and 15,000 RPMs. Um, and then after that, we go in and of course, just follow around that cuticle area first, working our way from the right side over to the left side, and then also just following the entire nail to get rid of the gel polish.
Alrighty, so after we finish removing the gel polish, we're going to go in with the cuticle pusher. And we're just going to push back those cuticles. As always, you can use any type of cuticle pusher that you have. I'm using a metal one. This one is actually from Amazon. It came with a pair of nippers and the cuticle pusher. So I really like that. Um, so again, whenever we push back the cuticles, this is just helping to expose the new growth. And it will help with reducing lifting. So after we finish pushing back the cuticles, we're going to go in with a 180 sanding band to remove the shine from the natural nail. The reason why we have to remove the shine from the natural nail is because our nails produce, um, you know, all different type of oils. And if we leave those oils on there and we apply the acrylic over that shiny nail, the acrylic is just going to like probably... Um, lift up within like a day or two so you have to make sure that you um, remove the shine from the natural nail again i'm using a 180 sending bin to do this and we're literally just filing that shiny layer off we're not filing to thin down the nail or anything we're just getting rid of the shine so it's not going to take much to do so Alrighty, so now we're going to go in with the primer. I'm using the Young Nail Protein Bond. And we're applying that on the natural nail, making sure that we don't get it on the skin. Because if they have any little cuts, it will burn them. And then after that, we're going to go in with the Mia Secret Pink Acrylic. And since I am going to be doing two of these snake skin nails on two nails i'm gonna go ahead and get my snake skin and she actually brought this a while back and we use it every now and then but it's actual snake skin and we're gonna do that on the index fingers and then for the rest of the nails we're just gonna fill them in with the regular mia secret acrylic um with the mia secret pink acrylic as always we just apply the bead closer to the cuticle area and then brushing it down towards the tip and then just adding more wherever it's needed remember that you want to make sure that when you're working you're looking at the nail from different angles to make sure that you have a nice apex and that you have a nice thickness at your tip so don't worry about you know oh i can only apply one bead at the cuticle area no you can apply acrylic wherever you need it but just make sure that you work with a little bit of product at a time that way you know if you need to go apply more acrylic at the tip you don't apply too much and then it'll be super super thick um but anyways again we just apply the first bead around the cuticle area pat it down brushing it down towards the tip and applying more acrylic where it's needed and of course cleaning around the cuticle area to make sure that you have no product on the skin and i'm gonna leave the snake skin nail at the end but basically it's the same thing we're gonna do a thin layer of acrylic over the entire nail and then we're gonna apply the snake skin on the acrylic while it's still wet that way it kind of just sticks to the acrylic and then we're just going to encapsulate it. But again, this is real snake skin. Um, she actually has a friend that has a snake. And every time it sheds, um, she give or he gives her the skin. So I've had this one for a while. Um, but as you can see here, we applied a bead of the Mia Seeker Pink Acrylic on the nail. We're going to go in and just place the snake skin right on top of the acrylic while it's still wet and then i am going to go in and just cut it out with my little small scissors so you want to make sure that it fits perfectly on the nail you don't want the snake skin like hanging off the nail because then the um snake skin like once you come back to file um it will like lift up on the edges so make sure that you fit it perfectly on the nail once it like lays down on the acrylic and is stuck then you can go in with the um, acrylic and encapsulate it as always you can use clear but i'm just using the mia secret pink um which is the same one that i'm using for the rest of the nails so I went ahead and trimmed it all the way down again to where it's perfectly like on the nail and then we go in and encapsulate it remember that when you're encapsulating anything you want to make sure that you are fully covering whatever you're encapsulating so in this case the snake skin we want to make sure that the acrylic is fully covering the snake skin if not we will file it off whenever we come back in with the drill at the end so you actually will be able to tell um, because you will like if the acrylic 
acrylic sorry if the snake skin is not fully inside the acrylic you will be able to actually see the um snake skin like hanging out of the nail or popping out the top or whatever it might be like you will be able to tell so we're finishing off this nail again make sure that as always we have a nice apex and a nice thickness at the tip and then also at first when i was removing the gel polish i did go ahead and file the index fingers down a little bit more that way they wouldn't be so thick since we are encapsulating them um so i did file those down a little bit more than the rest but same thing on the other hand so again we're doing a regular fill on all of the nails and then on the index finger we're doing the night skin on the tip and encapsulating them Alrighty, so I'm measuring my little piece of snake skin and after that we're going to go in and apply a bead of the acrylic on the tip or the entire nail and then while that's wet we're going to go ahead and place the snake skin on the nail. We're going to cut it out just like this. Make sure that again it's nice and flat on the nail making sure that we trim it as much as we can so it's not hanging off the nail and then we can go in and encapsulate it with the acrylic but make sure that you pat it down with your fingertips make sure that it's not lifting up or anything and then go in with your bead so the first one we apply is right in the middle where the um, actual acrylic that's already there and the snake skin meet brushing it down towards the tip we're going to apply some more at the tip and again just add more wherever it's knitted but make sure that you have a nice apex, you have a nice thickness at your tip, and that the snake skin is completely underneath the acrylic. Alrighty, so next we're going to go in and shape the nails. So we are using a 100-100 nail file and we're just redefining the shape. We already have that coffin shape that we want, but we just want to make sure that we perfect it. So as always, we file the sides at a 45 degree angle and filing the free edge at a 90 degree angle to make sure that they're super, super straight. And make sure that when you're doing this, you pay attention to what you're doing because you will be able to see that shape change as you're filing.
Alrighty, so now we're going to go in with our fine drill bed. As always, we start around the cuticle area first, working our way from the right side over to the left side, just going back and forth until you're able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is, and where the acrylic is. That way you know that the acrylic is not on the skin. And then, of course, just following the rest of the nail to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And, of course, you know, I've been doing nails for a while, so I'm able to lay down my acrylic really nice and smooth. But when I first started, they were bumpy and lumpy and thick so back then I was having to do more falling so you know just every case is gonna be different you know I, I might have people that uh, can lay their acrylic down really smooth and they're not gonna have to do much falling other than what I'm doing um, and then there's other people that's gonna have to do a lot more falling to thin down the nails a little bit if they're too thick to remove any of those bump and lumps so you know just again it's going to be different for everyone but you want to make sure that whatever you do you seal that cuticle area really really good now it is going to be scary at first especially if you're a beginner to use your drill but you only get better with practicing you just have to be really careful when you're working working around the cuticle area but after a while you know you won't even think about it you will just go in there with your drill and get the job done but again you will have to seal around that cuticle area really good you want to make sure that it's nice and sealed because if not any moisture that gets trapped under the nail will cause the nail to lift so we're going to go ahead and do this on all of the nails and then we'll move on to the next step Alrighty, so once we finish filing the nails, we're going to go in with the buffer and this is just going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nail from the e-file or the hand file. So buff the nails really, really good. And then as you can see, every time I finish buffing one nail, I go in and fill on it with my thumb and then if it still feels rough, I go in and buff some more. So again, we're just buffing the nails. After this, we can dust the nails off. You can have your client go wash their hands or like me, I just wipe them off with an alcohol wipe. Alrighty, so now we're going to go in with the polish. So we're going to be doing bling on the ring finger. So I'm using my Just My Luck color by Color Club. And this is just that silver holographic polish that I always use as a base for my bling. And for the rest of the nails, we're going to be using um, Fuchsia Touch by D&D. As you guys know, this is my favorite hot pink color. I use it a lot. And it's going to go really pretty with this set. So for this pinky, we're doing just a French tip. So I applied the polish on the pinky and then I'm just going in with my small cleanup brush and cleaning up that small line. Alrighty, so for the other fingers, we're going to just be doing the pink on the entire nail. And also, I wanted to mention, I know that you guys just see me wiping the sides of the pinky. The reason why I do that is because sometimes if you apply the um, gel polish too thick, it will take away from your shape. It's going to make it look a lot rounder. So whenever I wipe the sides, I'm not just wiping the polish off because there's still polish there. It's like I very gently just like 
tap the sides and once it, i don't know if you can see but they're still polished there i don't want you guys thinking that i'm just removing the polish from the free edge because i'm not i'm just making sure that i keep the shape that i have because i don't want my shape to look rounded but anyways once we're done with this one we're gonna go ahead and cure this hand for um 30 seconds and we're gonna do the same thing on the other hand so again we're doing the just my luck polish on the ring finger we're doing the uh, pinky with just the french tip and then the other two fingers a full um nail with the pink Alrighty, so now we're going to go in and do a second coat on this hand. So we're just going to go in and again do a second coat of the Fuchsia Touch by D&D. Um, I actually get these polishes from my local nail supply store, but um, you can find them online. I believe the store is called Princess Nail Supplies. So I'll be sure to leave the link down below if you're interested or if you know of any other websites that sell the DND gel polishes for a good price and it's a reliable website, be sure to let us know down below for anyone that's interested. But again, we're going to cure this hand for another 30 seconds and then we're going to do a second coat on this hand as well. Alrighty, so now we're going to go in and apply some bling. So on the ring finger, I'm using the hard gel. As you can see, I grabbed a pretty nice size bead and placed it right in the middle of the nail. And then with my wax pencil, I'm going to pick up the big pieces, place them right on top of the hard gel. Make sure that you work very quickly with these because they will move around if you don't. We place them in the middle. We're going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. And we're doing the same thing on the other ring fingers. So again, just pick up your pieces and we just make like a little cluster with three um, big pieces right in the middle of the nail. And then we're going to come back in and just fill in the entire nail with the AB SS6 and SS12. And all of these will be on my website um, later on. Alrighty, so now we're going in with the Soleil Nail Adhesive and I'm using my AB SS6 and SS12 and we're just going to fill in the entire nail. As always, I'm using my wax pencil to pick up the bling and just placing it on the nail and we just alternate between the two different sizes and as I always say, it's kind of like a little puzzle. You just fill in the gaps as you go and just alternate between the two, um, which is the SS6 and SS12 and then just add more glue as you need it. Again, I use the Soleil Nail adhesive and then i also use the mia secret gel resin activator at the end which just helps um, dry the glue a lot a lot faster so we're going to go ahead and finish this finger off and then we'll move on to the next one
Alrighty, so for this finger, we're going to apply the bling around the cuticle area. So this is one of the um, bling designs that I do very often because it just looks good. So we're just doing an SS12 right in the middle. We do two SS6 on the sides, another SS12, and then one SS6 um, at the end. And then we do two ones in the middle. And then for the pinky, we're going to do basically the same thing except for it's going to be in the middle. So again, an SS12 in the middle, two SS6 on both sides and then another SS12 on each side and then a SS6 and then two more at the bottom which will be a SS12 and SS6 and you can use whatever size you want but these work really good for me because they're just the perfect size not too big and not too small Alrighty, and for the thumb, we're going to basically do the same thing around the cuticle area. So just apply your glue, apply the bling, and then afterwards, we're going to spray the Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator. And then after that, we can go in with the top coat. And for the top coat, I'm going to be using the Nail Supply Glamour Diamond Gel. And I'll be sure to leave the link down below as well as a promo code. Alrighty, so we're applying the top coat and we're going to go ahead and let this hand cure for 60 seconds. And we're going to do the exact same thing on this other hand. So again, we're doing the um, middle of the pinky. We're going to do the full uh, ring finger and then around the cuticle area on the middle finger and the thumb. And then we're going to apply the top coat and cure for 60 seconds.
Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. They turned out very pretty. That snake skin and that pink just looks so good together. And then that bling, of course, is just beautiful. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GetNail32. And I'll see you guys next time.